this place, my god. Uh, this requires a key. You don't know anything about this house. No. Citizen. Anyone seen entering or leaving? Strange lights or unusual noises. It's abandoned, and it's always been abandoned. Okay, weird. And then this house. I'd be a lot warmer. But, but I can't just walk into the treasury. Yeah, sure. Some houses are locked, but I can't just walk into the treasury like this. I'm sorry. We're only interested in helping our patrons. What kind of patrons do you have? For one, the landowners of the Reach. It goes without saying that they rely heavily on us for our silver and support. All the miners, farmers, and laborers in the Reach get their daily wages through us. Nepos the Nose handles that part of our business. He has a way with the workers. Who's in charge here? You want Thonar Silverblood. He handles all the family business. If you're here to talk politics, though, you'd want his brother, Thongvor. He spends most of his time in Understone Keep. I want to know about the Silverbloods. It's an old family. Very well respected throughout the Reach. The Silverbloods run nearly all the lands in this hold, as well as the local inn. And of course they own Sidna Mine. The finest prison and source of silver in Skyrim. I have records I need to tend to. You just let old Nana know if you need anything. All right, dear? I don't like your tone, ma'am. I'm married to Thonar Silverblood. Keep that in mind while you're speaking to me. You're married to Fauna? What's he like? He's the real head of this family. He may not be the eldest, but all the work that keeps us respected is handled by my Thonar. You're an important family, I take it. My dear Vagrant, we're the only family worth knowing in Markar. We own everything in this city, even the jail. And guess who owns the Silver Blood Inn? Not that we named it that, the people just insisted. Right. Yes, I was bored talking to you anyway. <laughs> wow, rude. I'm a busy man. Half this city works for my family, and I have to keep them in line. Thongvor may be the head of the family, but I'm the hand. All right. I love how he did not even react to the fact that I, I just botched in there. Just here to work. All right, oh, books. Let's go. All right, moving on. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Uh, excuse me? Markarth, is it bloody enough for you? Uh, bloody enough. Then turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you, doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. What do you mean by blood and silver? It's right there in the name of the most powerful family in Markarth. The Silver Bloods. They have a whole mine filled with prisoners that dig up silver ore, get smelted by workers they pay, and they own half the city. I work for them. The inn is named after them. When the guards make an arrest, they check with them first. You live here in Markov? No. I live in a nice house in solitude, where the <laughs> air isn't filled with smoke from the silver smelters, and golden-haired girls shine my shield. I like him. I've been here ever since I left the Bard's College. Turns out a few muscles earn more gold than a damn loot. The Silverbloods pay me, let me crack a few skulls, and keep the guards off my back. That's all I need. Okay. I'm looking for work. Jarl is who you want to talk to. Always coined to be made killing off some forsworn in the hills. 
As long as you don't mind going axe to axe with a bunch of Daedra worshipping savages who practice the dark arts. I've heard you might know what Falene likes. What? Why? Are you interested? It's not for me, it's for Calcimo. Calcimo? Is he interested in Falene? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Aww. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? <laughs> I like this guy, yeah, let's go. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Love poem. I want to read this. Let's go. Is that in here or is that on the books? Love poem. There we go. A missive from Calcemo to Faline. A, a missive. Missive. Oh my god. My lover's heart is numbing stone that hides an ice beneath our side. So some decry it is not there, while others whisper, yet it might. Though stone is born from fevered ash, once formed it yields no whiff of heat. So too her heart betrays no love, no comforts those embracing it. As mountains grow and yearn for sky, then climbers conquering ascend. With chisel rope, with axe and pick, they force the rock to yield to them. One peak stands proud amidst the range, invincible and scared by none. Those men who try wash down her slopes, their eyeborn streams obliquely run. For brush a sword could never pierce those guarded depths that lay apart, but patient water that gently shapes a furtive channel to the heart. My love is delving water eyes that cracks with cycles of the sun. A lapping, yearning, whispered plea will mark the time till I rush in. For I have dwelt among the rocks, my city carved from rocket stone. So in that burrow I will creep and warm the soul which makes my home. Oh, that is actually kind of nice. All right. Uh, wait, we just came from here, didn't we? Yeah, we just came from here. You should see that arc over his underscore key. Have him forge us new armor. You're closing the stall, and that's fine with me. You want to give up now, out of fear? Is that what we're going to teach our daughter? Mama, why are you and Papa fighting? We're not fighting, we're just... Oh, did you need something? Why don't I get you something to eat? The bloody is deep in the reach. Yes. I work silver, like my father. And his father before him. The fun. Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? Or a lover? The city looks so ancient. Have you been here long? My family came here centuries ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here. I have a delivery I need to make to Calcimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. What have you got for sale? Some wonderful jewelry. Let's see. Can I sell you anything? Oh no, she only has 98 gold left. <laughs> um. Why are you getting a silver garnet ring then? Come back if you need a new ring or necklace. Where did the girl go? I wanted to talk to your daughter. Don't try to haggle with me. Buy or leave. Dare I ask where all this meat comes from? Ah, now that is a good question. Where does Hogney get the finest, freshest meat from all over the reach? The answer is simple. Orcs. There is a stronghold nearby whose hunters can butcher a deer in seconds. Now having an orc for a wife would be something. Yes. Strong and bulky. Too bad they don't let people go beyond the walls. Let me show you where they are. Maybe they welcome you. 
Maybe they put an arrow in your face. Who knows? I had some questions about the city. Do I look like a guide? The only thing I do is sell meat. Are you going to buy or not? Ah, uh, no thanks. Come back when you need more meat. Bring gold. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's just the market rabble. We should get back to work. You there, if you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Lisbeth handles the customers. I just check the shipments. No, I'm not Arnleaf. Yes, I know it's called Arnleaf and Sons. So who's Arnleaf? I inherited the store from my husband. His father was Arnleaf. My husband, Gunnar, died about five years ago. For sworn attack. I miss that stubborn oak. There was an attack in the marketplace. No, as if trade wasn't poor enough. Now there's violence in the streets. It was the Forsworn, wasn't it? I lose dozens of shipments every season to those barbarians. Now they're in the city? Gods help us. The store has seen better days, hasn't it? Oh, by the divines, is it that obvious? I swear, if my Gunnar was alive to see me now, this store would finally be on its feet if I hadn't lost my last shipment to the Forsworn attacks. A specially made Dibella statuette. You aren't for hire, are you? A sellsword? I'll pay you if you can recover that statuette from the Forsworn. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll have a sum of gold waiting for you when you return. Come back whenever you need something. Yeah. Yeah, this place has cobwebs all over. It's definitely seen better days. Me for your stomach? Oh, that's the inn. Nice. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Just here to drink. Don't get involved in that nonsense. Just want to work. You a fighting gal? How about a little bet? You say something about a bet? I'm drunk, and it's been a while since I had a good fight. A hundred septum says I can take it. Bare hand. <laughs> Good luck with that. That's the spirit. Let's go. Somebody Fight. help! Fight! Never should have come here. Oh god, you are a weakling. Let's go. Still fight. <laughs> you just gotta stand there and take it. Fight back. You lost. Give me my money. Fair fight. Here you are. Huh? Yes. Mm hmm. Good to see you again, friend. Mm -hmm. Check the shipments, Lisbeth says. There are no shipments, I says. So, where do you work? Arnleaf and Sons Trading Company. I'm a porter. Just some muscle hired to move heavy packages. But we don't get any shipments in. Forswore and attack every caravan. So all I do is sit here and drink. I think I'm going to get another drink. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. <laughs> Heard any rumors lately? The game the beggar got himself kicked out of the temple of Debella. Caused quite the ruckus. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markov. What can an old skull do for you, huh? A skull? Is that some kind of bard? That's about the truth of it. 
write tales about the sights I've seen, the battles I've fought. Earned quite a name for myself when I was younger. The Bard's College still teaches some of my work to their students. All right, well, I don't need speech Good training. To you. Unlike my husband, Clever, I watch after our guests. What I should remind Clever to clean this mine. place up. I'm what you'd call a soldier of fortune. That makes me an author, and I just might fight at your side. No, thanks. If I can't, the game the beggar got him. Okay. The temple of caused quite the ruckus. I can't get any more rumors from this guy until I. Wow. They. They really do make people just sleep on stone beds. Oh my god. Oh wait, this is Margaret's room. Margaret's journal. Let's see what she had to write. Meeting at the treasury house later today. Took them long enough. These people act like they own everything. The owner Silver Blood is the younger brother, but he's obviously the one in charge. Makes all the deals, bullies local landowners into selling to him. Even employs that wispy girl at the door to deter troublemakers like me. General Tolius is growing impatient, but I'll bring back the deed to Sidna Mine. On my life, I won't allow a group of Stormcloak sympathizers to own the prison to the most notorious criminals of the reach. They say no one escapes. Why? Is it really that secure? Maybe I've played my hand too soon by rushing the confrontation with Fauna. There are shadows around every corner in this city, and I know I'm being watched. Oh! Well, I'm guessing that guy was not about the Forsworn. I'm getting a feeling that Thona put out a hit on her. Should probably go back to his house and find out if I can see if I can find any evidence that he put out a hit on her. My mother and father yell a lot. Always have. All right. There's no shipments coming in, so I do. Don't mind nothing. the yelling. Just My parents are always complaining. You. I've seen you snooping around, asking questions. Back off. We don't want to know what happens to troublemakers here. <laughs> I love that we can pick the option of what happens. I'm curious. Uh, I'm not trying to cause trouble. Finding it, that's bad enough. This is your last warning, outsider. We keep the peace here. Stay out of our business. Mm-hmm. Blood and silver, friend. Blood and silver. Excuse me, but do you know anything about this house? Seen anyone enter or leave? Why are you asking? I'm with the Vigil of Stendar. We believe this house might have been used for Daedra worship. Evil rites and so forth. Do you need any help? I was actually just about to head on inside. It'd be good to have someone watch my back. Follow me and keep your eyes open. Daedra are powerful creatures and tricksters. Never know what you'll find. Okay, um, 